The global economy is being strangled by a strong US dollar, says Saxo Bank's chief economist, Dean Jakobsen, and here's why. Since the great financial crisis, we've issued an additional $57 trillion worth of new debt. Most of that has been originated or raised in the US capital markets and then converted into emerging market currencies. And on top of this, the excess savings, the reserves of the central banks globally is also in the US dollars. So of course, the situation we have is not only is all the savings in US dollars, but all the debt is also in US dollars. And as we see through this cycle that the US dollar continues to uh, strengthen, it puts additional burden on repayment of the increase in debt, and it additionally reduces the prices of commodities, metals, and hence growth from a lot of the uh, emerging economies. So those emerging markets are not anymore buying uh, uh, products from Europe, the US, and it kills everything. So in other words, the passive list system for the world, the one-off impact that's going to help in 2016 will be a significantly weaker dollar. If I'm wrong about that, then of course things will just deteriorate into being worse because of course as this dollar gets stronger, you get lower commodity prices, lower growth, lower productivity, and we will be in a very terrible situation and a very difficult situation to get out of. So. We have deposited all our hopes uh, with uh, the uh, direction of the, uh, the dollar in the future. You could think that a US Fed rate hike in this type of scenario would be really bad news, but it could in fact be pretty good. So the interesting aspect is that in four out of the five last uh, rate cycle where the US Federal Reserve has been hiking interest rates, the dollar has actually been either neutral or has weakened during the cycle. Uh, interestingly enough, because also on the asset side, emerging market has been the worst casualty of the strong dollar. But generally speaking, in the cycle of high interest rate, actually emerging market is the best performing. So the market the people has, in, in my opinion, a slightly uh, unnuanced uh, uh, attitude towards the dollar, which is not based on facts. Facts is that the dollar is uh, up, has a, a direction in terms of the value, which is opposite of the direction of the U.S. monetary policy, which means when U.S. rates are going lower, it means a stronger dollar. When U.S. interest rate is going higher, it means a weaker dollar. So that will be the first key component. The second one, of course, being the immersion of China and the internationalization of the renminbi. That will create a uh, very, very interesting alternative over the next two to three years, but that's a more long-term story. And here's how Steve would trade the dollar. I do believe that you're not in a big rush to, to, to get short the US dollar. The catalyst has to be the first hike. So wait and see if it does come in December. If it doesn't come, there'll be an additional strength in the US dollar probably. Overall, technically, uh, it looks like we can still test lower. But the catalyst will be the US dollar and you need to sell on the first hike because the US economy is not strong enough to actually drive a normal rate high cycle without inflation, without productivity, without real growth so far. That can change and the change dynamics will probably again be driven by the US dollar. If the US dollar starts to weaken slightly, we improve the, the trade terms for the US and that will sort of increase the, the, the projected path of the interest rate. So I think it's very likely we see that that's kind of scenario play itself out.